A lot of people don't realize that in the scrap industry we have pretty tight specifications and that's why quality control is very important. You can see this finished bale of aluminum right here behind me is right next to our unbaled or unprocessed material and that means we probably had an issue with this bale and the guys are going to redo it. So let me show you how we basically check all the material coming in and make sure that it is a good clean pure product before it goes out. So the first step in the process is to dump loose material onto this pad like you can see right here in front of me and then the guys will go through this and make sure that there is nothing non-conforming and then we will also sort the material by grade. And once that material is sorted it is put into these holding bays and then it is ready to be run through the baler. And then as the material is being run through the baler, it's basically being inspected two more times. One time by the operator that is loading the material onto the conveyor belt, and then by the baler operator as it falls into the hopper and being made into a bale. Once the material has been baled, the baler operators will look at it again and make sure that they didn't miss anything. We also have 100 pound pull magnets that they check the bales with to make sure that there is no steel that's not supposed to be in there. Once the material is entered into inventory, it is stored either outside in its corresponding row or in one of these 53 foot trailers to make sure that it stays completely dry like these aluminum cans. And if at any point we find something in the bale that is non-conforming, it will be sent back out to the yard and either make sure we get that piece removed. We sometimes can remove a piece with a forklift or we might have to torch it out. If we can't do either of those things, then we basically have to break the bale back apart make sure we resort it and then run it back through the baler. And then all material gets one final check whenever it is being put onto a truck to head out of here. We go through this thorough of a process to make sure that nothing leaves this yard that is not to the specifications required by the mill. If it shows up at the mill and does not meet their specs, they're more than likely going to reject the material, which means it's going to come back to our yard and we end up having to pay for the freight to get it there, the freight to get it back. We'll have to rework the material and then pay the freight a third time to get it back to the mill. 